I'm Rick Shaw. Yeah, the same Rick Shaw you get all the emails about when a system breaks or we're going to do a maintenance window and turn something off for a little bit. I'm in charge of IT and instructional multimedia here at Antelope Valley College, and I've been asked to give you a little update on where we've been and what we've done and what we're doing uh, to prepare the way for students to return to campus. As you can imagine, 14 months ago when quarantine started and everybody had to go remote, IT became very popular. And we had to, in very rapid fashion, find a way of providing support and services for all of our employees, faculty and staff, and all of our students who have never done this remote instruction thing before. Um, and we had to move almost 500 computers into a remote access structure so that the instructional computer labs in computer science and GIS and engineering and the sciences uh, would be available. Uh, we had to essentially train faculty in some cases in how to use Canvas and how to use Zoom and how to secure Zoom to pre prevent Zoom bombing. Um, we did a lot of training with employees in remote access to college services. We had to restructure our phone system. Imagine that. We couldn't send handsets home, so we had to set our phone system to work with their computers so they could run their handset and answer the phone from their computer instead of being at their desk. Um, with the COVID relief funds and with some basic skill funds, we stood up a computer loan program to support students. We've loaned out to date almost 700 computers and 400 hotspots to students in need. We're about to start that program again for our summer term. So if you're in need, go to the college's website, go to avc.edu slash computer loan program, one word, click the blue button and do the very brief application. All you have to do is be enrolled in three units for the summer term. We do have computers and hotspots available for students in need. What I'm more excited about, what I want to let you know about is the work for the college and advancing things for the college hasn't quit during the remote time. We have been busy working on a new service called EDUNAV. EDUNAV is an online degree planning tool that will allow you to plan out on a screen two years in advance what your courses are and look at where you want to take your courses and how best to optimize that. All of the degree plans are built out in it and it will give you feedback on how to optimize your program to reduce your time here and allow you to move on. It also has uh, the capacity to run what if scenarios. So if let's say you're a history major like I was and you decide you don't want to be a history major and you want to go into chemistry, it will tell you the courses you need to take in order to realign what you've taken and what applies to complete your new major. We're also incorporating in it a one-click registration button so no more going to um, the registration pages in my AVC and typing in CRN numbers to see if you've got space and time in those classes. All of it's deeply integrated with Banner. So you know the classes have seats available in them and you click the register button and it goes through in one sw fell swoop. We're very excited about the opportunities this provides and what we hope will be um, a smoothing of your path through AVC and on to a four year or to achieving your certificate or your degree, your degree goals. We're very, very excited about this tool. Right now we're tooling up for um, an entry level test with about 500 students that will take place with the fall semester. So the fall registration cycle, which will start over summer and these 500 students, and if this is successful, We'll be rolling it out to the rest of the student body in late September or October so that you can start planning for your spring 22 registration cycles. The other thing that we've been working on that we're very excited about is that our next generation portal. My AVC is getting a major facelift 
It's a whole new application set, a whole new server structure. Services will look a little different. The pages look very much like the kind of social media, social networking structures that you're used to. It has a very collaborative interface. So all of the clubs and organizations will have that capacity. It'll also have uh, the ability to fully integrate links direct into Canvas, direct into your calendar, direct into your Gmail. Um, we're, we're very, very excited about the things that this is going to provide, including an app. There will be an app for my AVC in the I, Apple um, uh, Store and the Google Store. Everything that is on the screen that is in uh, the My AVC when we launch the new service will be available and fully accessible within the app. We're very excited about that. The other thing that we're working on is literally a facelift to the audiovisual setup in just about every classroom on campus. Because of the high flex model and a portion of the students being in person and a portion of the students being online, the ability to broadcast from the classroom has to be available in every classroom. We're outfitting every classroom with cameras that have presets so that they can, the instructor can lecture or the camera can be set on the students in the classroom so they can participate as well. Everything that's on the screen streams to the students remotely as well. We're excited about this because we kind of saw this one coming. We were looking at this before COVID happened, because we know life happens. And the days that students can or can't be in the classroom, we wanted to provide faculty with these tools. So we've been looking at this design for a little while. We've been kind of excited about its capabilities. And we're rolling this out for summer to support the high flex model. Uh, we're looking at this and making this available long term for faculty so that they can record their class sessions and make them available to you if that fits their instructional needs. Uh, but what we're really most excited about is having students back on campus. This has been a very quiet place with you guys gone. And honestly, I've missed you having been around. I'm really looking forward to having students back on campus, really looking forward to having our faculty and staff back on campus. And I hope this has been helpful to you. And I wish you the best of luck with the coming term.